So, the Akira Scale Class 31s have arrived. Let's see if they deserve the hype they've been given in the Model Railway Press. The box is massive, as has become customary these, these days. Upon opening the box, I was confronted with two warning stickers. And basically, they say that this model is filled with fine-tuned electronics and if you use older style controllers, it may blow up if it's not configured correctly. I'll leave that to those who know better about electronics than I do to explain and decide whether that's a good idea or not. Hidden in the depths of the box are the instruction manuals, a sheet of alternate head codes, and another sheet that explains what they all mean. The instruction booklet is in the style of a British Railway 33056 manual, very similar to the ones that I was issued some 30 years ago when British Railways taught me how to drive the real thing. Back to the model, and another thing that struck me straight away was the fact that the tension lock couplings are attached to the body and not the bogies, something that many of you that follow me for some time will know that I think is the wrong way to do it. The body moulding, I think, is really very good. There's plenty of rivets to count if you're into that sort of thing, and everything that's supposed to be there appears to be there. The paint finish on the blue one that I have is also very nice. It's a sort of, it's a satin finish that is not excessively shiny. And will be very nice and easy to weather up at some stage in the future. Removing the body to access the internals is very much like owning a Lima model. Just prising the sides of the body apart, releasing the tabs and the sh main chassis falls on your workbench. The cab detail is also very nice. The only thing lacking is a ton of dirt and grot and about a dozen rolls of gaffer tape to keep the drafts out. The stickers that we saw when we first opened the box refer to this little panel that's next to the blanking plate. If you're DCC, it's a 21 pin decoder. And to note, the AE models ones don't fit, they're too wide. Get a Backman or ESU. I've just about got enough time to mention the detail pack that's in the box which contains the air pipes screw couplings and enough snow plows for two locos it comes in a variety of liveries br sectorization and privatization and it runs really well when configured correctly